you can seek help of a mentor, coach, or a guide. And if you want to choose one, which I really recommend, here's how uh, I choose my coaches and mentors. And here's a framework that I teach in my seminars that will help people choose me as a coach sometimes, right? So let me uh, give you this framework, how to choose the right mentor or a coach, whether you want to write a book, whether you want to grow your business, whether you want to learn a new language, whether you want to do something, you have to choose a mentor or a coach or a trainer. So how do you do that? Even trainers need coaches. Even coaches need coaches. I've been coaching other coaches and trainers around the world on high performance, on publishing, on writing their books. They need that. Number one, value alignment. Are your values aligned with the mentor? Do you have, uh, bo both of you have the same values? If not, then the person is not the right mentor or a coach for you. Number two, have they faced the same uh, challenges and overcome the same challenges, most importantly? Has the mentor struggled with the same things that you have struggled with? If you are choosing a, a coach to help you write a book, has the mentor also written a book? If See, people, when they choose me as their coach to write a book, they know that I have already written dozens of books and I have already published hundreds of books for other people. So they know that I have gone through the same struggles, overcome the same challenges. Number three, verifiable results. Have they manifested what you want to manifest or do they just teach this stuff? You know, I have seen so many business coaches, especially in these parts of the world, uh, they have read a few books on business and they have become business coaches. They don't have their own business in place, in, uh, in order, and they are trying to teach other people how they should run their business. It's so sad. And some of them are also like trying to cheat people into believing that they need a coach, co business coaching. And uh, I have met so many people who have lost money, time, and effort in going through months upon months upon sometimes even years of coaching with a business coach and all the while the re in the end the result is the coach has profited benefited and built their business by leeching on their customers right so understand whether they already have got the results that they are promising you to other people <clears throat> excuse me and number four do they have the experience or education they need whether uh, i mean where did they get their education are they just rehashing the same old tired stuff they learned from other teachers or did they get their education from the real world even though uh, in my case i worked with amazing people amazing mentors and advisors all over the world i have gained a lot of knowledge i stand on their shoulders but i also bring my own experience my own understanding my own perspective into what i teach Number five, satisfied clients. Who are their clients? Find out who their happy clients are and make sure you have something in common with them. If, they, if the coach has satisfied clients just like you, then most likely you will also be satisfied just like them. And the program content, consider that. Are you going to learn strategies that you can actually see yourself implementing with joy and authenticity? That's important. It's not just you're going through a course or a lecture or a seminar. It is the joy and enthusiasm and authenticity that comes along. That will actually produce the result. Number seven, the learning structure. Most of us benefit from some kind of interaction. It's engaging and gets us involved and implementing. So look for programs that give you more than an information download, more than a lecture, more than a seminar, right? Eight, timing. It's all about sequencing. Even the best strategies won't work for you if you're not at the right stage of your business to implement those strategies. What do you mean by that? I don't want to talk to you about taking your book to a bestseller list right now because the timing is not right. The timing is right for first to create the concept for your book, to create an outline for your book, and then the next step would be the right time to create the book itself. Only then you should think about the promotion of the book, right? Number nine, is there a guarantee? 
will they let you kick the tires and even take a test drive like you are doing right now any mentor who truly cares about making sure their clients are a great fit will give you some sort of guarantee or early termination option which means this a uh, course that you are going through is a master class i created this master class so that my uh, future author if you choose to uh, become one of our authors if you choose to publish your book with me in from my company in the us this is a kind of a trial for you like you're going to, i'm i want to impress you with the perspectives and insights and training and coaching and frameworks that i want to share with you so that maybe you will feel impressed and you will feel uh, you know uh, uh, i would say satisfied to come and publish your book with us all right that's the reason why i'm giving the option to kick the tires and go through this master class without signing any agreement with me you know that's how i give a guarantee 